A power gap. Hello. Hi. Uh, being the newest member of CORE, a CORE member if you will, we're aware that you'll be replacing Big Dean, who's been in CORE since day one. There's bound to be some tension in the room. What's that like? Actually, it's been alright so far. Everyone in CORE has been nothing but nice to me since I came in. Even Big Dean of all people. Sure, some people are mad at me for taking his place, but he said it's okay with him and that he'll be back in the team soon. Whatever that means. Hey, Pelgo! Hello, super fans! You suck! Oh. Being a superhero in CORE, how's your schedule been this past week? Mmm, let's see. I flew downtown patrolling for bad guys. Um, bonk, bonk. Bonk, I saved a stray dog from getting stepped on. Oh, I tried sushi for the first time. And... Then I had lunch. That was fun. Power. Being the youngest member of the core, no, make that the youngest core member in history. Has your treatment been noticeably different than that of your peers? Oh, it's been great so far. I... Wait, no. Actually, it's been really lame. Nobody takes me seriously because I'm just a kid. I'm more than that. I'm like the amazing, spunky, red-haired girl. I can be tough. I am tough. I've beaten up robots a thousand times my size, and I'll beat up that guy if you want me to. I'll do it. Uh, th that won't be necessary. Who looks with everyone calling me the team's mascot? I'm a superhero. I should be way past cool. I was born this way. I don't have robo arms and stuff like everyone else in core. It's all me. I'm tough. <laughs> I can fly, and I'm adorable. Yep. I'm the whole enchilada. Okay, on that note, now seems like a good time to ask the big man himself, Big Dean, for his thoughts on the matter. Katie, you're Oh my gosh, thanks John. Big Dean, you're obviously the big man of the hour. What do you have to say about Power Girl being in core? Power Girl, oh, what a sweet girl. Listen, all I gotta say is good luck out there, since she of all people is definitely gonna need it. Like, what do you mean by that? Oh, <laughs> come on, Kitty! Do I need to spell it out for you? She's a girl. A teenage girl, Katie. Well, she's got one thing going for her. She hasn't killed anyone. Allegedly! I allegedly killed one person. Just one. And this is enough to be kicked out or replaced by a thousand square. You better be better than me, alright? You better be better than me! Getting back to the meaty subject at hand, power. I don't have to be the one to tell you about Cora's magnificent history. Especially given that you're a part of it now. You are Korra's youngest member and the only superhero born with powers. It is an amazing honor to have you in my studio. Thank you. However, having said that, it begs the question if that's what we really needed. What? Power. You don't actually think you're a hero, do you? I mean, you've proven to be much more of a nuisance than a blessing to this city. You've... Sabotaged police investigations, which were completely under control before you butted in. I mean, yeah, that's my bad, but... According to multiple sources, you've been caught committing vandalism on private property after every fight? Well, I... And, as a final icing on the cake, we've had several photographers find multiple shots of your true identity out in public. I'll admit these are a little on the rough side, but we get the general idea that you're enrolled in the local high school, which strengthens the conspiracy that you're just another teenage girl. Irresponsible, childish, and it baffles me why Cor even chose you in the first place. Yeah, well... Now, is this what this city really needs? Is this what America needs from its savior, sworn to protect the lives of all of God's children? Do we really want to put our lives in the hands of an utterly pathetic teenage girl? Power Gale, Miss Power, Miss Unique, The Angel, The Red Baronet. These are all titles that the good people of this city have given you. But you have broken our hearts for the last time. So I'm going to ask you, who do you think you are? I'm...